Hey everybody, this is Destin, the RV Guru, and we are standing in front of the 2022 3761 FL Montana. And I don't know if it's already up, but I wanted to be one of the first to show you guys it. So they've made a couple changes from 21 to 22. They've updated all their graphics on the outside, kind of went with a more uh, a, a simple color tone. They kept with the automotive window in the front and added a wicked nice decal right under that Montana there. So I, I would say it's definitely a step up on the exterior graphics. Um, on the outside here, not much has changed. They still have your hydraulic controls up there. And then your docking station, of course, is heated and enclosed and everything's right in here. So you got your city water and your free, um, winterization system, your bypass and all that good stuff. So not much has changed there, but it's still nice that they have it enclosed. And on the rear den and front living models, you're also given the underbelly storage, or the basement storage as they call it, which right back here, as you can see, there is plenty of space. Definitely not an, uh, uh, a change from 21 to 22, but really one of those options that kind of sets this floor plan apart from some of the other ones that you see. If we can go back over to the other side here, sneak around, we can get inside and there's been some actually really nice upgrades on the interior. They've done some uh, uh, changes in there. Best thing I can recommend to buy some pool noodles for the corner of your slide outs because I have smacked my head on these things so many times I've at least lost half my brain cells. Uh, screen defenders new for 21, they kept it in 22, so it's just a little bit higher quality than the, the mesh screen that your dog's going to rip through in a second. Um, upgrades on the interior, you can see they've, they've kind of uh, stuck with that white kind of um, interior here, flip some lights on up top here. Um, their their, their uh, living area is going to be fairly similar, they've stuck with Thomas Paine. I don't know you guys if you've had any luck with Thomas Paine, what's your two cents is on it, but they still do the, the heat massage and all that, that good stuff. On to the kitchen area, they have changed out their uh, slide out floor, so it's uh, it's easily sweepable now, they've just added this diamond pattern to it to kind of give it more of a, a visual pop here. Your half bath down in the living area. This is one of the other upgrades that they've recently done is they've added the um, the sink bowl here as well. So just kind of a, a cosmetic thing to give it that extra little pop. Montana's just supposed to be luxury. So I think they've done a, a good job into that. The hardware, they've switched this out this year for more European style uh, high-end hardware. Um, moving into the, the back area here, put some more lights on. They still have your washer dryer prep right back here. So that is, if you can tell, just one thing I want to show you guys. If you see this little sticker when you're looking at campers, that means you can do a separate washer and dryer, which is ideal because those washer dryer combos, they suck. At least that's my two cents. And if we flip around here, the last thing we got is the master in the back. They do have the seats built in, and this is uh, one thing to look for when you're looking at campers. Check the shower, see if it's separated into two pieces, or if it's a one-piece shower like this. The more pieces you have, the more seams you have, the more leaks you have. So something like that is uh, something to look for. And they've kept with the, the upgraded interior through the back restroom as well with the sinks and such. So. Quick walkthrough of the 2022. Let me know what you guys think and um, look forward to hearing from you.